my dog is a little bit dumb. Hi, I'm Eric, and today we're gonna be biohacking my dog so we can control her with a remote control using a laser. One of my dogs is exactly like a cat. She follows around a laser pointer and chases it all around the house. We are gonna try to use that to our advantage by building some sort of contraption that we can strap to her so that way she will hopefully follow that laser. I wanna to try to do this for a few reasons. Number one, as you probably saw in the intro, she doesn't really fetch very easily. I always have to go out there and show her where the ball is. So I want to be able to like drive her out there and show her exactly where the ball is so I don't have to go retrieve it myself. The other reason is she just got back from the dog tour and she's starting to gain a lot of weight. She's starting to get fat. So I'm thinking maybe we can exercise her with this contraption and walk her down the sidewalk without using a leash. I have kind of a loose plan in place. I've got a 3D printer and a couple motors and my plan is to print some sort of contraption that will allow me to move a dollar store laser pointer in a four directions and then control it with an RC remote. I have no idea if this is gonna work. If it does, it would be totally awesome. I would literally be able to drive my dog down the street with an RC remote control. I feel like this is stupid. Marley is very scared of everything. I honestly think that she's gonna be scared of the noises that this thing makes, and it's not gonna work at all, but we'll find out. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm thinking if it goes like right here, maybe like right under. Marty. Come here. Stand up. Babe, I can't even tell that it's over. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Okay, I think that'll work. I'm gonna turn it on now and see if she can see it. Oh, she sees it. Oh, she sees it. Go get it, Marty. Go get it. Right now, I think she's just scared of the box mounted to her chest, but that's like a normal thing. If I was to attach a box to your chest, would you be scared? The point, the, what's good is that she's staring at the laser. She just doesn't want to go for it. I think she's afraid to move because of what's attached to her, but she's definitely interested. I think what I'm gonna do is take her for a walk and then See if she kind of like loosens up with the box around her neck, see if she gets like comfortable with it, and then we'll try again in like 10 minutes. So after taking her out, she was still kind of scared of the laser, but after we practiced a bit, she finally got the hang of it. And the next thing I wanted to try was an actual experiment on her. Okay, so what I've done is I set up four X's on all the walls, and I'm gonna try to use my laser guided dog here to touch her snoot on all four X's. Marty, you ready to go? Oh, she's laying down, she's done. She's tired. Oh no, we're good. Come on. You ready? 
If I can throw a ball, if I can guide her to where the ball is. Unfortunately, Marley could not see a laser once we took her outside. It was just too bright outside for her little lookers to see the tiny red dot. So the next step is we're gonna try to take her out later in the day when it's a little bit darker and hope that she'll be able to see that laser. For those of you safety people concerned about the lasers I'm using in this video, I'm using a dollar store laser pointer, something that's probably below a class one, something that does not require eye protection whatsoever and is not dangerous to shine in a dog or human's eyes. Of course, I could use a higher power laser for this experiment, and I would get much better efficiency because Marley would be able to see it in the grass no matter what time of day it is, but I think it would be a lot worse if she couldn't find the tennis balls because she was blind than if she couldn't just find them because she was kind of dumb. And for those of you aware of the psychological problems in dogs who play with laser pointers, I developed this little toy. It just has a couple LEDs in the top of it, so it shines bright red, same intensity as a laser. And this is something that I give to her after she's done playing with it, so she gets kind of the satisfaction of catching the laser. And I'll also hide this toy and lead her to it, so that way she gets the satisfaction of finding and catching it as well. So we're back out here at the dog park. It's a little bit darker now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide the ball somewhere and do my best to try and guide Marty to where I put that ball and we'll see if it works. Me. 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 Telemetry recovered. Telemetry recovered. Meep. Meep. So this isn't working at all. Marley just cannot concentrate on the laser. I think she's just so focused on trying to find the ball when she loses it that she just cannot focus on like the laser. So actually guiding her to the ball is nearly impossible. If there were no other variables, like us standing around and other dogs and other environmental impacts on her, I think it would work under the right lighting conditions. But there's just too much going on out here for her to be able to pay attention. and be able to be guided by the ball. All right, so outside did not work as well as I thought it was going to, but inside worked better than I was hoping for. So those kind of balance out and I get the expectations that I was looking for. So I would consider this experiment to be on par. You know, Layla, if you followed lasers, this would have made a much more interesting video. The only way I could get this experiment to work is if I was able to remove all of those other stimuli 
And the easiest way to do that is just inside the house. She does not exhibit any of those behaviors inside the house because this is her home, she's aware of everything, she knows all of her surroundings, uh, and nothing changes. When, when we don't add anything to the mix, it's something that she considers safe and she understands, and the only thing that's different inside the house at that moment is the laser itself. Hey Marty, do you have anything to say to the viewers? Someone please save me from this woman. I think I've officially trained her to stop following lasers. <laughs>